Hello people, today let's understand how to block hashes using SHA-256 or MD5 values in CrowdStrike, under configuration click on IOC management. Navigate to the right corner of the screen and click on the three dots and then add hashes. If you have only hash values in bulk without any description you can put it in a Excel file in CSV format and then upload all the hashes in one shot. But if you want to add descriptions on the hashes you will have to manually update the hashes and you can add comments. I will be manually updating the hashes in this video for you. So here we have the AnyDesk app setup file which needs to be blocked. If you have SHA-256 value ready you can block it directly or if you want to find out SHA-256 value please copy these commands in the PowerShell. Follow the notes in the video. Open the PowerShell and navigate to the folder where your setup file is stored. In my case it's in desktop so, cd desktop. Now let us run the command which has been copied. Now we have got this SHA-56 value. I have clicked on add hashes. Manually add hashes and now I am pasting the SHA-256 value here which we retrieved from PowerShell. You can give your own description and file name. In the host group you can select a particular group or you can tick the mark and apply the blocking for all hosts. You can choose the platform Win, Mac, Linux as per your requirement. Depending upon your preference you can choose either Detect, Block, Block Hide Actions. Here I have chosen Block and Show as de Detection, Severity, High, Add Hashes and the hashes will be added successfully under Blocklist. You can also get the MD5 values just by replacing the SHA-256 with MD5 and follow these same steps to block hashes using MD5 values. Now that we have blocked the values let us check if it's working or not. Yes, this is working and the Falcon has successfully blocked the execution. Please like and subscribe for more updates related to digital security solutions. Thank you.